Welcome to Dr. Shadows, your gateway to the eerie and mysterious. I'm your guide through tales that blur the line between reality and nightmare. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let the haunting narratives begin. I am Dr. Shadows, where shadows have stories to tell. First story. The haunting warning. It was just like any other night, drifting off into the realm of dreams, when suddenly the fabric of my sleep was torn asunder by a voice, not just any voice, but one that echoed with a chilling certainty, cutting through the haze of my subconscious like a knife through flesh. In the midst of my dream, a character, a mere figment of my imagination, turned towards me, her eyes boring into mine with a seriousness that sent shivers down my spine. And then, in a voice devoid of emotion, she uttered those words that would haunt me forever. There's someone in your apartment. Wake up. My heart lurched in my chest, a cold sweat breaking out across my skin as I jolted awake, my breath coming in ragged gasps. For a moment I lay frozen in terror, the words echoing in my mind like a sinister refrain. But as I glanced around my empty apartment, I found no trace of an intruder, no sign of any danger lurking in the shadows. Yet despite the reassuring emptiness of my surroundings, a sense of unease lingered in the air, a primal instinct warning me of unseen dangers lurking just beyond the threshold of perception. I dared not return to sleep, the memory of that chilling warning seared into my mind like a brand. Who or what had spoken to me in my dreams, and what did they know of the darkness that lay in wait outside my door? As the night wore on, I remained vigilant, my senses attuned to the slightest sound or movement. But try as I might to dismiss it as a mere trick of the mind, the certainty remained. Something sinister had whispered its presence into the very fabric of my dreams, and its chilling warning would echo in my mind for nights to come. Second story, Echoes of the Depths. As a child, I was haunted by a recurring nightmare that gripped me in its icy clutches night after night. In the depths of my slumber, I would find myself engulfed by the roaring waters of a colossal wave, its towering crest crashing down upon me with the force that stole the very breath from my lungs. And as I plummeted into the murky depths below, the cold embrace of the ocean claimed me as its own, dragging me down into the abyss. For years I endured the torment of that recurring dream, its haunting imagery etched into my mind like a scar upon my soul. But little did I know that the nightmare was but a harbinger of a truth far more terrifying than anything my young mind could comprehend. Years later, as a college student seeking respite from the sweltering summer heat, I took up a temporary job delivering mail to the residents of a quaint suburban neighborhood. It was a mundane task, but one that offered a welcome distraction from the monotony of my studies. One fateful day, as I made my rounds through the streets, I came upon a dilapidated house nestled amongst the trees, its weathered facade bearing the scars of years of neglect. And there, upon the front porch, sat an old woman, her eyes fixed upon me with a gaze that sent shivers down my spine. Approaching cautiously, I handed her the mail, expecting nothing more than a polite nod of acknowledgement. But as our eyes met, she spoke in a voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the ocean itself, her words laden with a weight of centuries. You drowned when Oceania sank beneath the waves, she uttered, her words chilling me to the bone. Faced with the inexplicable revelation, I felt the ground shift beneath my feet, my mind reeling with disbelief. How could this stranger know of the horrors that had plagued my childhood dreams? And what dark secrets lay hidden beneath the surface of her cryptic words? As I stumbled away from the old woman's gaze, the echoes of her prophecy followed me like a specter, haunting my every step. For in that moment, I realized that my nightmares were not mere figments of my imagination, but harbingers of a truth far more sinister than I could ever have imagined. And as the shadows closed in around me, I knew that the depths of the ocean held secrets that were best left undisturbed. Third story. The Haunting in the Woods. A few years back, 
I decided to take a stroll through the woods, venturing off the beaten path in search of adventure. But what I found was far from what I had anticipated, a grisly discovery that would haunt me for years to come. As I wandered deeper into the wilderness, a sickly sweet smell hung heavy in the air, drawing me closer with morbid curiosity. Pushing aside the undergrowth, I stumbled upon a sight that would forever be seared into my memory. A corpse, bloated and decomposing, its once human form twisted and contorted in the throes of death. The sight alone was enough to turn my stomach, but what chilled me to the bone was the realization that I was not alone. The local wildlife had made a macabre feast of the unfortunate soul, leaving nothing but a grotesque husk behind. I wasted no time in alerting the authorities, but as I waited for them to arrive, darkness descended upon the forest like a shroud, enveloping me in a cloak of dread. Alone with the corpse, the silence was deafening, broken only by the whispers of the wind and the rustle of leaves. But it was in that eerie stillness that I began to sense something sinister lurking in the shadows. A presence, malevolent and vengeful, reaching out from beyond the grave. The dead man's spirit seemed to linger, his anger palpable as he whispered dark promises of retribution in my ear. Nightmares plagued my sleep in the weeks that followed, the dead man's voice echoing in my mind, a constant reminder of the horrors I had witnessed. He spoke of his anger at being disturbed, of his desire for revenge, and of his twisted longing for me to join him in death. Though I tried to convince myself that it was merely my imagination running wild, the terror I felt was all too real. Even now, years later, his spectral presence continues to haunt my dreams, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurks within the depths of the forest. As the shadows fade, Thank you for venturing into the unknown with Dr. Shadows. Until next time, stay haunted. Like, share, and subscribe for more chilling tales. This is Dr. Shadows, signing off.